Hey everybody, this is Pam with Trust in Your Process and I thought I'd document um, a little bit of an update for today. I, I got a chance to map out my route to work. I returned back to work on Monday and I wanted to see now that I'm parked at a different place and I no longer live in my apartment, I um, wanted to see how long it would take and what would be the best route to go. So I literally got up this morning, stopped at the QT to get my coffee, but prior to that, stopped at the QT and cleaned up a little bit in their bathroom. Was able to brush my teeth, comb my hair, um, and do all that good stuff. And then I got some coffee and then headed straight to the route to go to work. And, um, and it was actually pretty decent. I uh, went inside as if I was gonna work out. I didn't take a shower or anything. I just wanted to map that out. I went inside, um, looked at the lockers. This is a different gym. This is the gym that's across the street from the job as opposed to the one I've been using. Uh, same uh, same company though. And it, it turned out pretty good. I mean, I actually kind of like that gym better, the layout of it, I like it better than the gym that I was using. It's just a little bit further, but since I have to go back to work, it just makes sense to go to that one and just go across the street to my job. Um, I made a purchase today. Uh, I don't know if you've ever used a gym and you see in the women's locker room, you have women rolling in um, with little, you know, lug carry-on luggage type things. And they just have everything in there. And I just thought that was such a good idea because when I go to the gym, I, I have just so many bags. I have a backpack, I have a back with my clothes in it. I have, it's just too much. And I went out today and I said, I gotta get me one that's small enough that doesn't look like I'm always traveling, but at the same time, it has dual purpose. You know, it can carry my laptop and my calendar book and my journal. So that erases the backpack that I have. And then I can pack away um, my outfit, uh, my gym clothes, my shoes, my carry-on bag for me to take a shower. That takes a, and eliminates the other bag. Um, so now I just have everything in one, uh, one place. And I don't have to carry it because it's so heavy. The other bags were so heavy. Now I could just roll it right into the gym, roll it right into work, roll it right into the coffee shop if I'm going to the coffee shop. So I thought that was a, a decent purchase. And so now I'm heading back to the van before I lose daylight uh, to get that situated. I've been staying in the van the last two nights. And, um, and I, tonight is supposed to be really cold, but I'm going to stay in the van anyway. I've been looking at a lot of uh, van videos of people, you know, dealing with the cold and their conditions is a lot worse than mine. So I said I'm going to go ahead and get that going so I can get that routine. So right now I'm heading back to the van. Um, and then I got to head out because I do want to set up at a coffee shop because I, I do have work to do for my writing client. Um, so yeah. That's just a quick update to kind of let you know what I'm doing and also to document, um, to keep my documenting journey going. Uh, I'm still working on um, how to use the time that I have wisely. Uh, I am feeling a little out of sorts. I don't know why. Today I'm just kind of like, I just feel like I'm in the car more than I'm outside. Like I'm... I'm doing that hermit thing that I'm trying not to do when I when I had my apartment. So that's interesting. Um, one thing I will say is this journey is really um, forcing me to be outside more and outside my comfort zone. And that is a little, little uncomfortable. Well, it's a lot uncomfortable. But that's, that's the whole point that I have to remind myself. That is the whole point. Um, what else? I got my hair done today. I went and got 
it's called a diva cut. So they cut your hair dry based on your curls as opposed to cutting it when it's wet and then we have to deal with the shrinkage. I like it, it's soft, I like it. I wanna be able to wear my hair natural uh, as opposed to getting it flat ironed constantly. And uh, because trying to go to the gym and showering and all that other stuff and having to worry about straight hair, I ain't nobody got no time for that. Um, so yeah. So that was a nice little treat. I got a chance to just sit in a chair. I got a deep conditioning. Um, I stayed under, it seemed like I stayed under that dryer for like an hour, but uh, it was it was good time to myself. So yeah, that's it. That's Pam. Today is what, Thursday? And I this will be the third night in a row that I'm uh, sleeping in the van. So um, I'm getting more comfortable. I will say that bed is so comfortable. I am going to take, however, Crystal Vanna's um, recommendation to try to cut it down because I do think it is big and it is taking up a lot of space and I'm only sleeping in a certain section of it. So um, it would be nice to have that extra space. So yeah, until next time, remember who loves you, remember you are enough and trust your process.